Hi there, it's Murray from Northland Dodge in Prince George, BC. Hey, I'd like you to have a look at this 2012 Dodge Charger SXT model. Uh, this one is an all-wheel drive. It's powered by the 3.6 liter uh, double overhead cam Pentastar V6 engine. Uh, makes 292 horsepower, 260 foot-pounds of torque. Behind that it has the all-new 845 RFE 8-speed automatic transmission. Uh, this transmission has been developed over the last few years with uh, ZF from Germany. Uh, just an outstanding transmission, 98% uh, efficient in all gears. Um, and I'll show you a little bit more on that when we get inside. Uh, the SXT uses a 19 inch uh, forged aluminum wheel. Uh, it has uh, disc brakes all the way around. Uh, and the Dodge Chargers have independent rear suspension, uh, so they handle great for a, for a full-size car. And of course they have that classic uh, Dodge Charger styling. Uh, one of the nice things about a full-size car is they just have uh, you know, a huge trunk area, lots of room for for various cargo suitcases. In the second row they have uh, lots of room for uh, three passengers. Lots of leg room. In the back of the front console there is uh, heating ducts, air conditioning ducts, and also a 12 volt uh, power outlet. Uh, and if you're just riding two passengers, it does have a fold-down center armrest with cup holders. And for those times that you're at the building supply store and you need a little bit extra cargo capacity for something long, the, uh, the uh, second row seats do fold down to, uh, to give you a bit of extra room there. Uh, these cars have uh, heated mirrors. And they're totally keyless. Um, all you get is a, a fob with it. It's got a button there for, uh, for the remote start. Uh, but as long as you have that fob with you and you walk up to the vehicle, it senses that and just unlocks the door for you. Uh, this one is, uh, has uh, power mirrors and power windows and power locks. And the SXT model has a uh, power driver's seat and uh, power lumbar support. Uh, it has a remote uh, um, fuel filler uh, release and also a remote trunk release on the dash as well. Uh, it has audio controls in the back of the steering wheel. Uh, this side uh, controls uh, stations, the other one uh, is uh, volume control. Uh, this has a tilt and telescopic steering on it, steering column. So with the, uh, with the fob, it senses again that you have it. You just uh, press the start button and away you go. Uh, this one has a 4.3 touch screen radio. Uh, so in addition to your, uh, your radio, it uh, has AM, FM, and satellite. We use Sirius satellite. Uh, you get a one-year subscription with the vehicle. Uh, it has a uh, CD player. Uh, CD slot is down here. And you also do your climate controls through here as well. Uh, so like fan controls, everything's touch screen. Uh, your heated seat controls. It has uh, two stages of heat uh, for both front seats. Um, temperature controls, it's dual zone air conditioning, uh, so you just slide your, uh, slide your finger across there to uh, adjust the temperatures to the desired level. Uh, AC control is on there. And then in different modes for uh, where you want the, uh, the heat or air conditioning to blow from, the different uh, outlets. And then you can also make a lot of settings in here for the uh, uh, for vehicle preferences, uh, driver preferences through the uh, through the radio as well. 
Here's a shot of the instrument cluster. One of the nice features on these is the, uh, the driver information center. I'll just scroll through that a little bit here. So at the top you have your compass, uh, your kilometers and uh, current temperature. Um, and you have things like fuel economy, so it gives you your average fuel economy, distance to empty. Uh, and the bar graph on the bottom is your real-time fuel economy. A um, couple other things here I'll show you. Tire pressure is corner for corner. That's kind of nice to have. Uh, vehicle info. It gives you your actual uh, pressure readings uh, and temperatures. Um, oil temperature. Transmission temperature. Engine hours. There's one here that I want to show you, oil pressure. Um, and that's the all-wheel drive system. Now normally when you're driving, you're in rear-wheel drive. This is primarily a rear-wheel drive car. Um, but if you, and, and if you uh, are in a situation where your, your rear wheels slip, then it will engage the uh, front wheels. Um, however, if you uh, are in heavy you know, winter conditions and you want to run it uh, in four-wheel drive, uh, what you do is uh, come over to the dash here. The, uh, this button here is the electronic stability control. So um, when, you, uh, when you press that electronic stability control, it does bring you into uh, all-wheel drive mode. So right now that's in, in four-wheel drive. So if you're driving down the highway in a, in a heavy you know, snowstorm, you can lock this thing into four-wheel drive. Otherwise, you're just in rear-wheel drive, but when you start to spin, it engages the front wheels automatically. So just an outstanding system. Um, these cars have just caught on like wildfire with this uh, with this system in them. Um, what else can I show you? In that radio, um, like I mentioned, there's a lot of things you can control, your heat and temperatures and uh, uh, that sort of thing. But there is redundant controls all across the dash here um, where you can set them as well. Uh, the 8-speed automatic um, has got a, a rather unique shifter. Um, it's a totally electronic, um, it, uh, it'll shift automatically or you can, if you want to, you can shift it through all eight gears, uh, but, uh, pretty cool shifter. Um, in your center console you have, uh, some illuminated cup holders in there, and then of course the, uh, the console does open up the storage compartments in there. Uh, of course it has um, uh, cruise control and uh, this one also has a Bluetooth phone connection uh, so you just press the button on there and you have uh, hands-free uh, cell phone use when you're driving. Uh, this is a tilt and telescopic steering wheel uh, which is a nice feature. This one also has uh, uh, remote garage door opener. Um, you can program up to three uh, remote garage door um, um, openers on that. Uh, it does have an Alpine uh, sound system. Like I say, the SXT, it's, uh, it's a mid trim level. It uh, still has cloth seats, but uh, you know, again, they're heated and, uh, you know, very, very nicely appointed car. So I'm going to attach uh, a few notes to an email and uh, I'll send this off to you. Thank you very much.